Good morning. It is 5 a.m. on Friday, January the 20th, 2023. And I am full of gratitude. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. Um, we are on our winter break. I'm a union chef and I'm on a semester break and I'll be returning to work shortly. So I'm getting back into doing the Monday through Friday gratitude lists as we do usually every 5 a.m. And uh, but you're probably used to seeing, you know, the, <laughs> you know, the good old iPhone treatment. But uh, I thought that it would be a good excuse to model the model. Yes, um, I start off my my gratitude list with the foundation six or snit you know what i mean i just came up, i'm a geek i love the x-men i just came up with that my foundation six six uh i am grateful for my uh for my parents I'm a, i am grateful for my family my friends my faith my freedom my health and my union job six yeah and um i branch out from there and I realize the purpose that gratitude has on me, the impact that making a daily gratitude list gave me the mental, emotional, and spiritual muscle memory that I need, I needed for this person to pull this kind of life existence and paradigm off with. I mean, I've been doing it for literally years now. It's been very, very helpful. It's 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 great wisdom. Uh, I am a I've been a moody prick all my life. I really have been. I mean, I am I, I've the, I have the chronic mopies, the chronic angries, and the chronic lonelies. And I've done something about it. And you can too if you suffer from the same things. And I was suggested that it, this gratitude list, and um, you literally can count your blessings. I can look at the sheet of paper and count multiple things to be grateful for. And it gives me perspective, which has given me purpose. I mean, it can't be all that bad if I can enumerate all of my blessings. And so let's get to it. So yeah, we started off with just having six. And so what I've been doing is been, I've been taking... Before I used to make videos, I, I made literal gratitude lists. I've, I have a stack of lists going back to November 5th of 2020. What the heck is that? <clears throat> I figured it out after a couple of tries. Like, what the hell did I doodle? What is that? That's terrible. It's supposed to be two hands going like this. And those are the sleeves. All right. <laughs> I, I just, oh, that's what you were doing. And um, so, yes, on this date, back in 2021, we have gratitude. For January 20th, 2021, we have family, friends, fitness, friends. I, I, I've put friends twice. I meant, I meant maybe, uh, you know, I was extra lonely that week. Or maybe I was, you know, I'm just, I, <laughs> I was just been an error. Okay. Family, friends, fitness, fun, home, health, joy, peace, wisdom, union job, RM's mantra. I'm grateful that I can work. That I can, uh, that I have hands. I've got feet. I've got wind. I can, I can produce. I can earn something like that. You know, um, good coffee, fairness, authentic help, the winky, the om, the chi, and kriya shakti. And uh, since we have the opportunity to actually get into a few things, I'm going to spend a minute talking about. Kriya Shakti. These are some Sanskrit words. I got this specifically from Dr. Deepak Chopra over a decade ago. And I started really reading his self-help books. I read his Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita for, uh, as an audio book, which I moved on to the, to the Gandhi version. And then the Eknath Eswaran version. The study volume, three volume study set. So, um, thank you, Dr. Chopra, for the gift of the Gita. That was that helped. That was the rudder to my boat. You know what I mean? And I've got the boat's gotten a lot more seaworthy along the way. Yet the Gita remains my rudder. And perhaps these 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 gratitude lists are the, like the jib sails 
you know, <laughs> or one of those like tall sails, which like just capture enough that like, you know, make your boat faster. You know, I'm not a sea person. I grew up next to one, but uh, let's just count real quick. Okay, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 things to be grateful for. That has the power to break the, uh, the inertia of your bad moments, of your bad day. That can give you a neutral space where you can make new decisions and new choices for these problems and break and change your day's energy, change your day's destiny in a way too. How about you can have better days through striving to be to, to be neutral. You know, just bring it to a neutral space, and which is a lot better than being sad, tortured, depressed, stressed, panicked, angry. Kriya shock to you though. All right, Dr. Chopra introduced me to some magic words. Like yesterday, we had Lokasam Graham and Swadeshi. Well, this one, one of them for me was Kriya Shakti. Now, I believe in God, and I believe in the metaphor of the avatar, like, you know, like Jesus or Buddha, or the, uh, the uh, you know, the, there's the prophet who gave a new word too to other people. And then there's Krishna, who was an avatar. And also, there's something beyond that too. I kind of see, you know, this divine as Shiva and Shakti. These are the divine energies, the archetypical. Shiva is male. Shakti is female. In between, they, they have the, they are the generative energy that drive existence and evolution and life and consciousness. I know, huh? <laughs> and uh, so he had this thing called the six Shaktis. Six appeals. Six magic words directed towards the goddess energy. The mother energy. And uh, one of them was Kriya Shakti. Now, the other five are Para Shakti, the power of light and heat. Yana Shakti, the power of mind and knowledge. Ichta Shakti, the power of will or desire. There's Kriya Shakti, the power of manifestation. There's Kundalandi Shakti, the power of bioelectric magnet, the, the bioelectronic, bioelectromagnetic energy. That's Kundalandi, you know, Kundal yeah, and then there's mantra shakti, the power of sound and speech. But kriya shakti, and I'll read it from the Chopra page itself, from the Institute. Kriya means action. Therefore, kriya shakti is the power that transforms itcha shakti into an actual event. That's will or desire. When combined with yana shakti, the power of mind and knowledge, kriya shakti may also express itself through creativity and inspiration. The, so to appeal to say Kriya Shakti, Kriya Shakti, that is a mantra of mine. May I spontaneously generate and manifest the right choice, the best choice for me, for those around me. May I not be, you know, may I, you know, this is maybe even the spirit of leadership and the spirit of, um, you know, of being like an ordained minister of, you know, having, you know, a calling or so, but to for me to make the best choice, Kriya Shakti. And so, yeah, I'm grateful for that. And these 18 other things, and this, I'm still grateful for all of those 19 things and even more today. <laughs> and that's given me like the discipline I needed to pull this off. And I've been doing it for years. And I got the receipts for it. I got receipts. <laughs> Thank you so very much for tuning in today. God bless. Namaste. Good luck. Please like and subscribe. We make daily content here. We talk about spirituality and gratitude. We talk about cooking. I'm a professional chef. And daily, 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern, we talk about comic books. Thank you so very much. God bless. Namaste. Good luck. Good to see you. And we will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.